up to the front here where Ed has a microphone for you. I'll start. Hi there, Eric. Um, why are you running as an independent and not as within a party like the Republican or Democratic Party? Well, as we found the parties nowadays, I don't think the Republican Party is particularly conservative. The Democratic Party is ruled by the lunatic left. Uh, I'm an American, as all of you are. Everybody else has an RD or a libertarian behind their name. They're all American citizens. I think we need to take our country back. We don't need to worry about the parties. We need to vote for good people, not parties. Throw the people out that have been down there up our system for so long out so we can get people down there that will give us term limits, fair tax, and a big work on Social Security, work on fixing our country, taking it back to our constitutional republic. And that's not going to come from these two parties. I think we all know that in our gut. Next. Any other questions? Yeah, wait. <laughs> Eric, I've seen that you're uh, for immigration control. And does that mean? You want to close the borders because uh, someone's got to do it. I want to close the borders to people other than legal immigrants. We have a system. I think, you know, we need to protect our borders. We need to use some of our troops. We have troops all over the world. We're in 35 countries right now. We need to protect our borders. We need to track the people we let come here and work visas and green cards and find out where they're at and what they're doing. They're not citizens yet, but we've got perfect right to watch them. Now, I don't want to close our borders completely. We're a country of immigrants. We're a great melting pot nation. We have great culture and heritage, and great food all over the country. And I love going to Oktoberfest and all the festivals that celebrate different ethnic backgrounds. So I won't close our borders, but we will lock them down to keep foreign invaders out and we can send them home. My name is uh, Richard Wasslein. Uh, I live here in Erie County, originally. I lived in New Jersey. And my mother came from Ellis Island. 14 million people came to Ellis Island. I don't know why they closed the port of entries, uh, Angels Island, Baltimore, they have a port of entry. It seems like, for some reason or other, both parties are having a party on us, and it's about time to stop. We should open it a place where immigrants come through like they've done in the early 1900s. Thank you. Hi, Eric. Um, the EBA and the extremist groups such as the uh, UN have created laws that hindered our independence and prosperity, such as forcing us to purchase oil from companies that. Well, they don't rather like us too much, and they don't let us grow here, the environmental groups. The more dependent we grow, and the more that we race towards uh, global markets and globalism, the more weak our economy becomes. Would you be in favor of implementing national security laws that would supersede environmental laws to restore the strength of America? I think we need to maintain our membership in the UN stop signing any of their treaties, signing on any of the policies that take away the sovereignty of our constitution. I will work hard in the Senate to evaluate each piece of legislation, each treaty, whether it's about global warming, or immigration, or the world core power of us, or small arms free in the U.S. and Bush again. If they're going to become sovereign over the Constitution by the Senate confirming them, then I'm going to vote no on them. Because the Constitution is the supreme law of the land, we have a constitutional republic, and there's a democratically elected, elected representative I need to uphold my oath to you, to represent you, and protect your rights and liberties. Okay. We have time for one more question. I actually don't have a question. I'd like all the speakers to please put their mouth right in the microphone so we in the back can hear. Thank you. I'd like to show you all a, a good quote from the first continental congress of the United States of America. It says, uh, to these grievous acts and measures, Americans cannot submit. Now, we all need to remember that come November. We need to send the people home who have been messing up the country. So we need term limits. I actually believe in term limit. One term. I have to raise money to run, or I can spend my own money. If you elect me once I'm in office, campaign finance law should say that I can't raise any more money. I don't want anybody buying my vote. I'm there to represent you. I represent myself, my state, and our whole country. 
So I'm pushing for term limits. I'm going to push for it all the way. I know it's not going to come from the two parties. So we're going to have to make that happen ourselves. Thank you. This isn't like church, so if you can't hear, move to the front. Bring your chair with you.